Hi Derek, Ron Stewart here in uh, almost sunny Florida. Uh, just got the banjo that Carly Yates built. Oh, I'm sorry, Warren Yates built. <laughs> and uh, Carla helped quite a bit. She used some kitchen utensils on it and uh, some of the bindings a little questionable here and there. But uh, you know, I think it'll work pretty good. Just kidding. It's a great banjo man and I certainly hope to enjoy it. Thank you so much for purchasing one of our instruments and tell everybody you can about them let them play it and uh, if you can put it down for that long I doubt you can but I'm gonna try to play you a little bit here on it. <laughs> So you actually want me to try to play something on this? Yeah, if you, if you mess up, I'll try to lead you through it. Well, I appreciate that. What I've been having some trouble with is basically everything. From uh, kickoffs. You, you've had that trouble too? Well, no, I've heard you do it. Right. Yeah. Have you figured out the fix? No. Can I show you yes. what I'm doing yes. wrong? For, to demonstrate what I right, need help on? Right. Well, so far that's right. Okay. That's right so far. Okay. There you go. That's it. Just, just getting it looping, you know, like that. It's so the thing. The hand position's about right. Yeah. Well, maybe a little more, you know. Oh, yeah, oh like this. A little bit further up. Right there. There you go. So, so that's why when you and I have come up with these banjos. I've been missing the spot to get the right turn. Right, right. I should should my thumb pick ever hit the last fret? Once in a while. On a kickoff. Just want mainly on the kickoff. So more yeah. like That's the way I do it, yeah. Okay. So you're saying I should probably change most of my picking and things will get better immediately. You're not going to fix it overnight. You're going to have to work There's a lot of work stuff. to do. There's a lot of work to do. There. Because when you, from, yeah, when you go from... You ain't going to learn for, nothing. Don't know what like. When you get... There's a lot of work between that and here. Yeah, yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah, that other stuff. No. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. And then you get on down close to the bridge a lot of times, you know, maybe a half inch. Oh, so there are times I... Could it? Yeah, there's a lot of different now, stuff. If, in what, yeah. if you were down here, uh -huh. would you switch your neck angle to this or this? I know, I would go more straight up. More straight up? Right, yes. Now, would you put an arch on your hand or no. would you lay it? No, I would oh. not. So basically, yes. lay this part down. Correct. And your right. pinky on the tailpiece? No, hook it on the bridge. Oh, put I don't. Put some good pressure on it. So, you just quit doing that other stuff. I see. So if, let me see if I got it straight. If I were doing up the neck back up, I would use this position we're talking about. Yeah, closer to the bridge the better. That's it. That's the way you do it there. Okay, and then if I was playing a kickoff, I'd be more... Touch the frets a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I see. So basically, I've been doing it bass backwards for you. Maybe I'll, no, I didn't, didn't want to say it. Well, I wish you would tell me 10 years ago. It would have saved me some time. But I'll work on it. And we'll see what we can do. Yeah, much appreciated. Thank Glad you. to help. I appreciate it. That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs>